The role of prosecutors in addressing police misconduct is pivotal as they serve as a crucial link between law enforcement and the judicial system. Their position enables them to significantly influence the outcome of misconduct cases through decisions on whether to file charges, what charges to file, and how vigorously to pursue a case. This responsibility places prosecutors at the forefront of ensuring accountability and upholding justice within the law enforcement system. Here's an examination of how prosecutors can influence the outcome of misconduct cases. Number one, investigative oversight. Prosecutors have the authority to initiate or oversee investigations into police misconduct. This includes working with or directing internal affairs divisions within police departments or collaborating with independent investigative bodies. By ensuring thorough and impartial investigations, prosecutors can gather the necessary evidence to build a strong case against officers accused of misconduct. Number two, decisions to charge. One of the most direct ways prosecutors influence outcome of misconduct cases is by deciding whether to bring charges against offending officers. This decision is based on the evidence available and the likelihood of securing a conviction. Prosecutors must balance the need for accountability with the standards of proof required in criminal proceedings. Number three, charge selection. When deciding to charge, Prosecutors also determine what specific charges to bring. The severity of the charges can significantly impact the potential consequences for the officer involved and signal the seriousness with which the prosecutor's office treats police misconduct. Number four, plea bargains. Prosecutors often have discretion to offer plea bargains, which can resolve cases without a trial. In cases of police misconduct, the terms of such agreements can influence both the accountability of the officer involved and the public's perception of justice being served. Number five, trial vigor. The vigor with which a prosecutor's office pursues a case at trial can greatly affect the outcome. This includes decisions on which witnesses to call, what evidence to present, and how aggressively to counter defense arguments. A committed prosecution is essential for securing convictions in cases of police misconduct. Number six, transparency and public trust. Prosecutors can influence public trust in the criminal justice system through transparency about their decisions and the reasons behind them, providing clear, understandable explanations for charging decisions, plea deals, and trial strategies helps to build confidence in the prosecutorial system and its role in addressing police misconduct. Number seven, advocacy for systematic reforms. Beyond individual cases, prosecutors can advocate for systematic reforms within the law enforcement and judicial systems. This includes supporting changes in laws, policies, and practices that reduce the likelihood of misconduct, improve investigation processes, and ensuring fair trials. Number eight, training and education. Prosecutors can also contribute to preventing police misconduct by participating in or facilitating training and educational program programs for law enforcement officers. These programs can focus on legal standards, ethical conduct, and the importance of accountability. In conclusion, Prosecutors play a critical role in addressing police misconduct. Through their decisions and actions, they can ensure that officers are held accountable for their actions, contribute to restoring public trust in the justice system, and drive systematic changes that promote greater integrity and professionalism within law enforcement agencies. Achieving these goals requires a commitment to fairness, impartiality, and relentless pursuit of justice.